Identifying which type of acne you're experiencing is key to successful treatment. Acne may be non-inflammatory or inflammatory. Subtypes of acne within these two categories include Blackheads Whiteheads Papules Pustules Nodules Cysts Non-inflammatory acne Non-inflammatory acne includes blackheads and whiteheads. These normally don't cause swelling. They also respond relatively well to over-the-counter ODC, treatments. Salicylic acid is often marketed for acne in general, but it usually works best on non-inflammatory acne. It naturally exfoliates the skin, removing dead skin cells that can lead to blackheads and whiteheads. Look for it in cleansers, toners, and moisturizers. Blackheads, open comedones. Blackheads occur when a pore is clogged by a combination of sebum and dead skin cells. The top of the pore stays open, despite the rest of it being clogged. This results in the characteristic black color seen on the surface. Whiteheads, closed comedones. Whiteheads can also form when a pore gets clogged by sebum and dead skin cells. But unlike with blackheads, the top of the pore closes up. It looks like a small bump protruding from the skin. Whiteheads are more difficult to treat because the pores are already closed. Products containing salicylic acid can be helpful. Topical retinoids give the best results for comedonal acne. Currently, adapalene, diparin, is available over the counter as a retinoid. If it does not work for you, stronger topical retinoids are available by prescription from your dermatologist. Inflammatory acne. Pimples that are red and swollen are referred to as inflammatory acne. Although sebum and dead skin cells contribute to inflammatory acne, bacteria can also play a role in clogging up pores. Bacteria can cause an infection deep beneath the skin's surface. Products containing benzoyl peroxide may help reduce swelling and get rid of bacteria within the skin. These can also remove excess sebum. Your doctor may prescribe either an oral or topical antibiotic along with the benzoyl peroxide to treat your inflammatory acne. Papules Papules occur when the walls surrounding your pores break down from severe inflammation. This results in hard, clogged pores that are tender to the touch. The skin around these pores is usually pink. Pustules Pustules can also form when the walls around your pores break down. Unlike papules, pustules are filled with pus. These bumps come out from the skin and are usually red in color. They often have yellow or white heads on top. Nodules Nodules occur when clogged, swollen pores endure further irritation and grow larger. Unlike pustules and papules, nodules are deeper underneath the skin. Because nodules are so deep within the skin, you can't typically treat them at home. Prescription medication is necessary to help clear these up. Your doctor or dermatologist will likely prescribe the oral medication isotretinoin, sotrit. This is made from a form of vitamin A and is taken daily for 4 to 6 months. It can treat and prevent nodules by decreasing oil gland size within the pores. Cysts Cysts can develop when pores are clogged by a combination of bacteria, sebum, and dead skin cells. The clogs occur deep within the skin and are further below the surface than nodules. These large red or white bumps are often painful to the touch. Cysts are the largest form of acne, and their formation usually results from a severe infection. This type of acne is also the most likely to scar. The prescription medication isotretinoin Sotrit, is commonly used to treat cysts. In severe cases, your dermatologist may surgically remove a cyst. <laughs>